Well, last time we saw our good friend Leon Kennedy, oh, he was in quite a pickle as he had uh, something in his eye. A bit of, bit of futz in his eye. Gotta get it out of there. And he saw a lady in red, somehow so familiar. Let's continue it on. Chapter 3, your blood has accepted the gift. With these ominous words, Leon's formidable attacker vanished. While trying not to think about the true meaning behind them, Leon continues on his search for Ashley. Bruce Seconder 1, I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor 1, out. So obviously the vi this, this infection has had some unexpected effects. It has made uh, Leon, well, f fabulous, just fantastic. He's adopted some, some fantastic goth fashion here. Um, maybe this was Mendez's? Like, he, maybe he, like, went into the dresser and, like, found this in the wardrobe. Uh, I could not say, but Leon's looking good. So this costume is called the villain costume, as opposed to the hero costume that we had last time. Oh, the attic. We, I mean, there was no attic in the original game. Oh, I need Ashley to piggyback. Now he could reach. That could, Leon could jump and grab the lowest rung. He could do that. There's a chair over here. He could, like, scoot the chair over there. <laughs> he could do... I feel he does not need Ashley for that. Anyway. Little altar. There's like a gem on it, but I can't grab it. <clears throat> Hello? Imagine if Mendes was just standing there. Does He doesn't need to be standing there. Okay, so we're going back the way we came. I just need to make sure there's nothing if we go back in. No. Nothing additional if we, if we go back in. There was in the original game, but of course they integrated that scene into the cutscene that we already saw. Alright, so... I guess the path back is going to be a little bit different than in the original. Oh, we already looked at this, I believe. Yeah, we did. It's going to be a little different because in the original game we go into the, into the house through the back. And then we leave through the front. But here we just came in from this direction. Hmm? You too, huh? Hey, it's that dog. Take care of yourself, buddy. Now they were they were faking you out when you saw the dead the dead dog in the trap earlier, faking you out there. They knew you'd be upset. Of course. Okay, this is... Okay, that's the door I entered in through. Because I was running away from Chainsaw Man. So the dog was not there at that time. And I believe the front door was locked. Can I jump on that? Doesn't look like it. We have that gate. Did I come... I didn't come in through that gate, did I? I don't think I could have. No, no, I came up from th this path. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I came up from... Okay, so let's look at this gate. It... <laughs> look, Leon can take it. Extremely rugged boots. Okay, that's it. 
we uh, needed to get... This would have been locked, so we wouldn't have been able to go this way. So we're going to take this way to head back to the village. To the Pueblo, I'm sorry. Well, it's not marked in yellow. Like this is. I probably should shoot it anyway. There we go. There's nothing- I don't think there's gonna be anything in it if it's not marked in yellow. But you gotta see. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Actually, before we do that, we're just, this is, now that we're now we're seeing the layout of the area, let's just go back for a second and step on some more bear traps. Huh? Oh, he didn't. He didn't just run right through it. Looks like Doc Salvador. Looks like Doc Salvador is gone. There was a chainsaw guy here. Ran away from him because I didn't like the ammo situation. But, uh... I guess he's not here. Unless he's further down the path. Is that yellow? I mean, it's yellow, but there's no prompt. I guess we can't do anything with that. I mean, really, if they're going to use yellow tape as the signifier, then it should be the only yellow thing. All right, then this was the vi the the valley. Oh, the lady I didn't kill is still here. More than one. Got those tendrils in them. The wiggly tendrils. Alright, doesn't seem like... I guess that's... Maybe that's the only two. I had to make sure... That every villager dies. I mean, I don't know if that's actually... Something we'll be able to... Where did that come from? Oh, there you are. Hey. So those still break after three kicks. All right, so... Oh, there's something down there. All right, so I guess there is a finite number of enemies after all. They'll stop coming at some point. I 
I guess when we came in, we must have dropped down from there. Yeah, we can't jump back up there. There is a merchant up there. But, of course, I mean, we'll be encountering him again. Many, many times. Alright, so I guess that's as far back as you can go. It looks like it anyway. I already, like, already look there. I wonder if anything here has been repopulated. Oh, they're getting introduced a little early. Oh, hello. Yep, you had a, like a, a wire on your stairs. You might want to look at that. So I guess they'll just leave if we head inside. In the original game, those would show up after we got the symbol to go into the church, where Ashley is. Showing up earlier here. Also, why did the tower explode? Maybe the townspeople are doing some remodeling. So I'd have this old rickety tower. No good. Take it down. Re repair, it with blue repair it with something else. Like, put something else in there. You don't need it anymore.
I mean, I guess maybe. They blew it up to try to prevent Leon from getting to the locked door. Because that is in the way. It seems a bit extreme. And there's the locked door over there. Oh, hold on. Maybe we can use some stealth. Oh, this is open now. They just throw their garbage down here. Come on. That's not what the well is for. Well, did not see a TMP. Which, uh, was down here in the demo, if you just got rid of your entire inventory. And then these wells opened up. Okay, so it's like a little bonus area, but not that much in there. But like a little, a little additional thing you can look through. If... Also, this collapsed, so maybe a, another way of just getting around... Oh, and this is blocked. So just like another way of getting around the village. Was there anything I wanted to look at? Oh, actually, there was one thing, wasn't there? Um, small, simple key can only be used once. Okay, so that's what this can be used for. Ooh, a vintage compass. Let's take a look at our fancy compass. There it is. Good old-fashioned compass that has been kept in good condition over the years for selling only. It's not a gameplay item. You can act, it's, a, it's a non-functional compass. Well, they should do block off a lot of uh, passages at this point. That still needs uh, piggybacking. Uh, I suppose we should we could run up this path and see if there's anything new. Okay, they lock this. That's probably for the best. I bet bingo was over by now, though. How long could it possibly last? Oh. Took a second to realize what was there. Oh, but it, we'll just take the whole the whole snake. The entire thing. That's my inventory. Medium-sized snake with a unique mottled pattern. If the poison glands are removed and may be eaten, can be used to restore health. All right, Leon's just chowing down on snakes now. We can just knock these over? Yeah, we can. Leon has no respect for the local religion. Yep. Hit him.
Illuminatus49, sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mother shall sew new small clothes. At seven quintal of wheat and half a bull a day, you have outgrown your pen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. It's the key to everything. That's a big skull. Leon has no comments about the strangely large skull. No, no witty one-liner about the skull. Sick of constantly running out of ammo? Well, I have a treat for you, stranger. The belt thrower is something else, mate. Its belt can be retrieved and reused, so you can keep shooting forever. Also, don't forget to buy the belt recipe to turn your extra knives into, well, bolts. Never wor worry about ammo again. And that's not all. You can affix the bolts with attachable mines, at proximity explosives, to quickly turn the weapon into a powerful mine thrower. Shoot at an enemy to see them explode instantly at, or at a surface to set a proximity mine. You'll lose the belt, but it'll be worth it, stranger. All right, so... Oh, he's right there. Uh, so, I guess... If I want to use the bolt gun, I can just r pick up and reuse the ammo. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. I heard you're doing that bad impression of me, stranger. You didn't think I was here listening, but I was. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Discounted items are only available in the chapters they appear in. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save your life. All right, he's giving me a discount on the bolt thrower, so I guess he does want me to buy that. But I mean, I have to I have to repair this, don't I? That's good work if I do say so myself. So I could sell the pearl pendant. You're a deal well struck. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. <clears throat> so things that I could trade these spinels for. Some things. Uh, let me try the yellow diamond. <laughs> a wise choice. Also, of course, I do want the case upgrade. A bit more space never hurt anyone. Perfect size for you, straight. Anything else I can help you with? Well, let's see. I could increase the knife. To suit I, if I increased it all the way, would there be an exclusive upgrade? Maybe there would be. There's a, I use the handgun a lot, so probably should upgrade that. Could be the difference between life and death. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. Not enough cash, stranger. Where would it come back any time? Let's take a look at the flagon. So let's see. Um, yep, that, yep. <clears throat> let's see. I wanted to say put the yellow in there. Two colors bonus 15,400 petas. Uh, that one, I would need another rectangular gemstone to completely fill it out. Uh, and I don't have one of those. Welcome. And sell the flagon. A deal well struck. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we could try this bolt thrower. We're getting a special offer on it. In your pocket or your life. Not only will you need cash, but you'll need guts to buy that weapon. All right. I mean, is he saying it's a bad weapon? Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. 
Sounded like they dubbed in the, the, the words good things. These are not just things, stranger. I want to emphasize how good they are. A weapon to suit your specific needs. Um, <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. Yeah, I'll just completely upgrade the power on that. Well, see how that feels, mate. A fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Anything else? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> a dear friend of mine is gravely ill and I'd very much like to treat them with some delicious vipers before, <laughs> before they pass. Is there a snake charmer willing to lend a hand? Sell three vipers. All right, I might as well sell this one that I'm carrying and make it an advance, make progress in this, in apparently a side quest. Well done, straight. Come back any time. All right, one, one Viper. We're looking for two more. Uh, all right, so if we're looking at this. All right, here we go. I have three. I could press G to attach a mine if I had a mine. I do not have a mine. But would I want to get rid of my ammo? I mean, if I don't use an explosive, then I can get the bolts back. And that's kind of valuable right now. Anything to shoot down up there? Ah, the Troich. A church. I made it. I'm not seeing an option to pick up a bolt. See, I was standing, like, over here, and then shot this. Could it possibly have gone through the bird? I'm not seeing it. Sir, I want my bolts back, if that's fine. Great, here are my bolts. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Building some coffins. I guess they need quite a few of them. Alright, so I don't know where that first bolt went. It's a, it's a missing bolt. All right, well, some of the tombstones look a little different now, don't they? I wonder if the clue is the same, that we have to find the, the, the gravestones of the dead ringers. Or is the puzzle any different this time? No. There's the bolt. Under one to roost. The church is sealed up. And Baby Eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. 
That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor 1, out. Don't see any blue medallions hanging around. Does this still do something? Eh, it looks like I'm aiming at the bell. Not hearing anything. This is blocked off. Don't have a small key. I wonder what the in-game reasoning would be, well, I mean, the lore reasoning be for why a key could only be used once. Not the first time we've seen that in Resident Evil. Keep her locked in the church until the appointed time. Oops. Nothing on the back. Lakeside map. A pest fro he outsid has ohm for the earl. Lock her in the church and eight orders, Rom or Lord. Until then, keep the church door shut. The key ill be held in the cave on the there side the lake. The monster will deal if the fool he intruder. Lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. Well, we'll try that trap door, but first let's see. Anything around here? Those traitorous tra twins should not be allowed to rest in peace for joining that evil cult. Won't someone, anyone, destroy the emblems engraved, engraved upon their tombstones? Alright, we need two of them. The twins. Alright, that's the puzzle? That's a lot easier than the original puzzle. Ooh, the elegant headdress. There's no, like, weird machine where you press the button to make the spinner move two or three times to make symbols glow. There they are. Okay. That's some nice grave desecration, stranger. Hey, I sh the request done and dusted, eh? Good stuff, mate. Yeah, I shot two tombstones. I could count on you. You like that? All right. Got a selection. I just came to tell you about that. I'll come back if I find two more snakes. So, we found the church. We need to get the insignia so we can unlock it, which Leon should not be surprised about. This should not be, this should not come as a surprise to anyone about needing to find some sort of giant crest. Is there anything else around here? No, I don't think so. Oh, there is a ladder. A flash grenade. Standard Equipment for any church. All right, now let's go down into that trap door. All 
right, we're on the other side of that. Can I unlock it? Yes, we can. This way to the Lago. We lo Everyone loves the Lago. It's like the main attraction here for tourists. Totally wiped out there. Whoop, hold on, hold on. Sir. Whoop, someone else coming? Hold on, sir. Sir! I'm snake collecting! You know what you get for that. Okay, I, I guess there was not enough room for the German suplex. Does that hurt at all? Okay, yeah, it does. Too late. Thanks. I'm pretty sure she had something on her down there. I feel it's a bit too inconvenient for suplexing, considering you have to get them down to a knee and then get around them. Not that I'm against the, the, the inclusion of the German suplex. But I feel like there's a lot of times when I'm not quite making it. I would like it if the belly-to-belly the -belly suplex was also still in. Because that, that one is easier, you just... That's from the front. But in the original game, you didn't start doing suplexes until... the castle. 
I guess it could still be possible that that's in there, but I kind of feel like it probably isn't. Is there anyone who can destroy those blue medallions? The area is polluted by their presence. And I can't bear it. Wow, he really hates the blue medallions. I kind of always thought that those medallions were his. Like, he put them up. Apparently, no. Apparently, he just hates them. All right. Blue medallions, quarry, fish farm. There are five of them. That is a large hammer. Good luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. That's right. There's no one around here who could possibly lift that thing. I mean, most people would wonder, why is there such a big hammer? Who's picking that up? Not Leon. Oh, um... Does this still work? It does. Also, there's a wolf over there. No comments. Sounds like some, someone's asleep on the other side. That's just loud snoring. Is what that is. Nothing to be concerned about. Right, I guess nothing else around here for the time being. Nope, that's where I came from. I've not found that key yet. I get it's not the insignia key, it's a key that is the insignia. We've seen like two or three of those boxes so far. got the purple torch. Where's the man? His light is here. I do not see the man. Ah, it's his proper shop. Oh, breaks over, I suppose. There are enough weapons here to get a party going. And I'm not selling, not selling ammo for any of them, stranger. Which you might think is odd because of all the boxes of ammo I've got right here in front of me. It's, those are just display models, stranger. Instead of letting your unused guns collect dust, why not sell them and spend the extra cash to upgrade a weapon you do use? When you sell the weapon you tuned up, you'll get almost all the expenses you put into it back. There's no catch, mate. We're just rooting for you. Mm, almost, you say. Well, I gotta make a little profit, mate. I'm running a business here. Hey, snacks. 
Can can Leon buy snacks? Sorry, stranger. Display model. He's, he's selling things other than weapons. I guess you can have that one. Technically, it's not in the store. I, it's just, I mean, it's, I can see it. It's within eye line, but I guess technically it's not in the store. Ooh, you have the stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, you it doesn't smell like you've showered in a while either. Welcome. What can I interest you in? All right, so I I got uh, another snake. Well done, stranger. I'll find a third one. Here's an elegant headdress. Oh no, you, there are rare stones that can go in that. Is that new? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the elegant headdress didn't take stones in the in the original. Oh no, it says inlaid with rare stones, not that you can put stones in it. No, okay. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Thank you. Your weapons are in good hands, mate. I'll see you right. Um, yeah, why not? Increase some power. As you wished. Will that be all, then? Come back any time. Could go down to the dock. Door up there. Where's that? One? Which one did I come in? I came in that one, right? And then there's this going up there, and then what is probably a shooting gallery? Because otherwise the elevator would. It just seems out of place. Wow, merchants eating well. If you do well, I'll make it worth your while. Knickknacks and whatnot. Anyway, have fun. Mate. I love knickknacks. Destroy the pirates and shoot for the high score. Weapons and ammo are unlimited, and it's all free. Earn tokens based on your score for a chance to win magnificent prizes. Stranger. Exchange your tokens for charms to the token machine, full of treasures that can be found nowhere else. Destroy several targets at once by shooting nearby dynamite. Shooting a sailor will deduct points. Some targets cannot be destroyed at one shot. Certain conditions are met. Bonus targets will be added. That can changes from game to game. Alright, so they have a capsule machine. Uh, if I can get silver and gold tokens to get a random charm. Rio would love them. Alright, let's try out... Try out this pirate-themed shooting gallery. Do all of the shooting galleries have their own different theme? A rifle can take out multiple targets with a single round. Rate of fire leaves a bit to be desired, though. All right, 1A, pistol, 1B, rifle. 1C, rifle, handgun. Let's try 1A. I guess the pirate is is fat and sailors are not. And wearing ill-fitting clothes. That's how you can tell the difference between a sailor and a pirate. Look, I'm not against the exposed midriff. I think more people should have the exposed midriff look. Got an A on two silver tokens. Some of the targets are well. Alright. Well, I haven't actually used the rifle as of yet, so this is the first time we're using that. 
He's got a shield. be on that one. Only one silver token. Gotta be. We were right about you, stranger. We? Alright, got like a scoring legend right here. 400, 200, negative 500. Huh? Dynamite. And the 300, uh, lo skull logo is 300. Who, who, who did, did the merchant draw that? Who did he get to draw that? Oh, I know a guy, stranger. Three silver tokens. What we got? I love these. So if I put this charm on, I will get 100% health recovery if I eat a eat a black bath. I, how often will that come up? I wonder. I mean, we'll keep that in mind if I come across a black bath. I do have that charm that I could equip. All right. Um, so yeah, this is where we came from. There's a door going up there. There's also down here. I guess when we get the motorboat later. Well, okay, you can you can see the other dock over there. Well, we have no boat at the moment. We are boatless. I do not have a small key. I do have hexagon piece A. Where does hexagon piece A go? I don't know yet. Oh. Where is that? Don't see it. Ah, there he is. Probably not the... Could have changed weapons, probably, for that. That's fine. Not a big deal. All right, let's head on up. All right, so in the original game, the incentive for doing the shooting gallery was that you could get bottle caps, and you wanted to, you know, amass your bottle cap collection. This time, the rewards do have a, uh, 
practical reason. What a strange thing. Fortunately, it's not something we have to worry about. But look at this beautiful view. Look at that beautiful castle in the distance. You know, Leon would like to go... If he had the time, you know, he'd like to go sightseeing. It's not for him. It's not what he's doing right now. Do I see, like, a puzzle over there? That looks like a puzzle over there. I mean, we're looking around up here first. The boat fuel is stored with the generator fuel inside the processing building at the fish farm. Take only what you need. Alright, we need boat fuel. How realistic. Leon can't just take the boat out onto the lake. He needs to find the boat fuel. Wow, this dock area is quite big. Now, let me just take a look at the rest of what was over here first. Can I get down here? Yeah, I can. Those are some hexagons. Alright. I guess I need one more hexagon, and then do I... Or two more hexagons, and then do I arrange the hexagons? Those, those hexagons look like they need arrangement. Alright, there's the boat. I assume there's no fuel. There is no fuel. Come on. Fill the tank when you're done. Yeah, Leon understands boat etiquette. If you use the fuel, you should be refilling that. Remember the old saying when you would you would rent VHS movies and they would say be kind rewind because it was annoying when you would rent a movie and then it wasn't rewound I don't know if there's like a boat equivalent to that Leon could probably think of one he's, he's quite clever at coming up with the quips Oh no, Leon's fancy clothes. God damn it. I just bought this. You're not supposed to get this wet. You know what this is going to do to the feathers? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. Don't they star? I'm, I'm busy right now. Can I suplex in the water? Yeah, I can. Water suplex.
Crossbows. Looks like it takes them a while to reload that. Oh, there you are. Well, I guess we need to look for more blue medallions. Now that we know this is where we need to find them. Am I hearing, like... Yep, yeah, I'm, he I'm hearing him. I was hearing some... S Leon's talking to no one. Oh. oh, there was another viper there. Black, okay, black bass. We did find a black bass. Remember... To equip... <laughs> to equip the charm before we eat that. Anything there? Yeah, there is something there. Yeah. Ooh, antique pipe. Look at our fancy pipe. A pipe of exceptional craftsmanship. incredibly fancy. I mean, unfortunately, Leon doesn't smoke. Not that I'm saying that he should smoke, but he, we know he, he states that he does not, so the pipe will not actually be used. This is a decorative pipe, not a functional pipe uh, in Leon's hands.
nothing there. Another hexagon piece. Small key. Take a chicken egg, just a spare egg lying around. And some boat fuel. This is what I'm talking about. That's right. Leon likes himself some boat fuel. So we could go back to the boat. However, I didn't find all the medallions. Anything hanging from, like, a line or a tree or some such. a little platform with a barrel on it. Can I drop down on it from here? Not sure where that was. Ah, oh, there it is. It's right there. Any blue medallions before I do that? I don't think that's a thing. No. Ooh, Velvet Blue and Pesetas. What a lucrative barrel. But speaking of blue, the blue we want to find are medallions. And I do not see any more. right into the strangulation. Well, it was the next snap more than a strangulation. Well, at least it starts me from getting the fuel.
guess I probably, you know, I've, I have a few things. I have a few things in here. I could, like, say, for example, um, let's see, how did you equip the charms? And, and that was, yeah, you had to do that from the, from the typewriter, I think. Yeah, that's right, I think you did. Uh, I do have this yellow herb. Might as well combine with green. It does make sense that some of them would be using some crossbows. I always thought it was odd in the original RE4 about how there were so many, so many people, and not a whole lot of them were actually using any sort of, you know, firearm or projectile weapon. They were at the occasion, but not that many. Even, like, once you get to the island and you're fighting soldiers, not many of the... Not many of them use guns. But no, here in the village, here in the Pueblo, they are starting to use some, uh, some crossbows. Still no blue medallions in sight. Suppose it could. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Would uh, hmm, someone around? I don't know if this thing about finding the five blue medallions. I don't know if that would stretch out into another room, another area. So far, it doesn't really seem like they do. It seems like they're keeping these quests located into a constrained area. I mean, there's also the snakes. You're not getting all the snakes in one area. That's a bit different than hanging out, hanging around these uh. Hanging these blue medallions and looking for them. Oh, that's the nest. There was something up there. But, okay. but no blue medallion in there. There was a nest, but it did not have a blue medallion. Just another dead snake hanging around. You could go fishing. I'm sure Leon will put that down in his report. About, uh, all the fish he caught by looking in the water and shooting. It's the most efficient way to fish. All right, we'll take one look around to see if we see any blue shinies just ha that stick out at us. But I'm not seeing any. I guess we're heading back in the cave.
Oh, I did find two more hexagonal things. No, no, I guess I only found one more. I need an additional hex. <clears throat> Suppose we could look down to see if we notice any blue. And there's one. seeing any others hanging out under the docks here. We only had four out of five, but maybe we'll just have to live with that. Well, our, go you know, our main goal was to get the gas for this boat, and we did. We got the gas. Let's put it in this boat. For our uneventful little travel across this lake. that just the way Looks like that Leon's in a bit of a pickle. Fortunately, he has an unlimited supply of harpoons in this boat. His mouth is big enough to do it. And he doesn't understand the trash talking, Leon. I mean, I, sh I guess I shouldn't say that. Like, maybe the parasites make, it s make him smarter than the average lake monster.
Where'd you go? Leon's seasick. He doesn't have his sea legs yet. Yeah, I know that they removed the QTEs, uh... Because, you know, QTEs, people don't really like them. They tend to be an outdated gameplay mechanic, and RE4 did have a number of QTEs. I do think that the end, that ending cutscene, though, did seem like it missed a little bit without the rope wrapping around Leon's legs, and you have to, you have to mash the button to cut the rope, otherwise he's gonna get pulled in. Uh, but, I mean, I guess that scene doesn't make much sense without mashing a button. So, I guess that's our fight against Del Lago. Um, also in the original, if you get knocked out of the boat by Del Lago, you do also have to mash the button to get back to the boat. I don't, I, I don't know how different that would have been in this case. Uh, maybe you just get hurt and maybe you just automatically go back to the boat. But yes, unfortunately for the village, their lake guardian is no more. And unfortunately for Leon, he, uh, saw his reflection in the lake and said, wow, I look incredible and fainted from how good he looks. He couldn't take it. He was swooning over himself, and that's why he fainted. Um, so, that is the chapter. Uh, that was kind of a... We spent quite a bit of time on this chapter. We did a shooting gallery. We looked for some blue medallions. Didn't find all of them. We looked for some snakes. We got all the snakes. We need to cash those in. Um, we shot, we desecrated some graves. Uh, we bought the new weapon, a bolt gun, and didn't use it much. But we have it. And, um, yeah, we explored, we re-explored some areas we already been to, like the Pueblo, which changed quite a bit. The wolves were introduced, introduced the wolves earlier than in the original. And, um... There's a hexagon puzzle to be done. I did not have all the hexagons, but unless I missed one, I can only assume we'll find one and then go back there at some point. I mean, who know? Who can say? I know there's backtracking that you can do, but I don't know if there's a point where you just can't do that anymore. I assume there must be a point. Well, I mean, there has to be. You can't just link the entire game together. We'll see if we find another hexagon and see whatever that puzzle is. As we continue on with Resident Evil 4 Remake, the next one... Sh so this should be the point where there's a time skip and Leon wakes up and it's nightfall. Um, we'll see if that's how this goes. But in the original game, he's out for a few hours due to being shocked at how good he looks. We'll see if that's what happens next time in RE4. The Remake... Oh, I should, I should save. I should save the game. I should also customize my case. Because I got I got the this charm. There. I have it. Now I can refill 100 percent health with fish. Alright. We will be continuing on with Resident Evil 4 remake after a break. <laughs> 